Part 1. They just don't make it like they used to. About three-ish million years ago, we humans invented the first product. It was a rock. Honestly, it was pretty ingenious. You could crush stuff with it, and they were just about everywhere. Slowly, over the next three million years, we developed better products. We harnessed our natural environment. We also invented mass production and discovered electricity. The whole idea of making new objects was to make it easier for us to accomplish tasks. But we just ended up designing our bodies out of the human experience. We really don't need to walk anymore since we have cars. We have machines doing all of our physical labor. And we have to work out in a gym in order to stay healthy. We just don't use our human body like it was designed. But our bodies are actually great. We have 360 joints, which allow us to move about. If you get hurt, your body will repair itself. And we have powerful brains that allow us to think in abstract and analytical ways. My name is Nick, and I'm a designer in New York City. Rather than me designing a new object, what if I tried to design myself back into our current human experience? Before I began, I felt like I needed to talk to a few professionals to see what they had to say. Well, it makes me wonder if there's not a Marshall McLuhan-esque reading of the design fields. Marshall McLuhan is a theorist who believed that humans would never understand the potential of a medium until it became obsolete. So, applying this concept to products, if I myself replace objects, I can hopefully see their usefulness. He says in the medium is the message that um, you don't understand what the medium is for until it has been replaced. Um, you know, so notes that photography frees painting from you know, having to be representational and that video, you know, and we could follow on, right? You know, that each of these forms um, becomes, may realize their own potential only after they're fully replaced by or they're augmented by new technologies or when our worldviews are changed. I also must point out that with great technology comes great responsibility. Us humans haven't really shown that we can handle the responsibility of a new technology very well. We waste more money on war technologies and the advancement of a military agenda than any other political activity, and have done so for thousands of years. In fact, much of the technology that we depend upon today started out as military technology, from your computers to your M&Ms. My question is if there is really harm in reverting back to a simpler type of existence. I went back to the studio to plan out what I was going to do. We've just lost confidence in our body's innate abilities because we've designed them out of use. So I'm trying to rediscover our relationship with the everyday world uh, by reverse engineering how we use our bodies. To start out, I decided that I need to catalog everything about my body, including my crazy amount of chest hair and my one dead toe. My pain tolerance is a little less than average, but otherwise I'm a perfectly healthy guy. I also asked the doctor to give me a checkup. He said, Nick, you're looking great. With that, I was ready to go.